What's up, guys? Swift here covering everything Chicago Bears. I have a few things I wanted to talk about here. First off, I'm going to cover what I saw from both Drake May and Jaden Daniels' pro days, as well as some strange that popped up with Jaden Daniels' elbow. Let's get right into it. First, Drake May's pro day was today. If you haven't seen it yet, the NFL should be putting it up on YouTube soon, but Drake May put on a show. He really showcased his arm talent, his accuracy downfield, his big-time arm, and his ability to place the ball with pinpoint accuracy downfield, and then in the red zone as well. Now, he did start off the day a little shaky, not looking crisp on a couple of his layups and easy passes he started with, but then as the pro day went on and on, Drake May would have a much better day than Jaden Daniels did to me. Now, don't take that out of context. He did a lot more in his pro day than mo most quarterbacks did. Drake May had the longest pro day, throwing nearly 70 passes and throwing more deep shots than any other QB, including some that were on the run that were just special. He was on point, especially downfield with his accuracy. But then he also finished up with a red zone drill where he was able to throw NFL style throws with laser accuracy on the money. He showed off his big arm, his ability to throw off platform, and he looked like a prototype quarterback in today's NFL. I said we don't overrate pro days, but I already had him as my QB too, and I saw confirmation of what I saw on tape from Drake May, which is that to me, he's quarterback number two in this class. I've had him at QB two for a while now, but I believe that was solidified today. Next up was Jaden Daniels' pro day. Jaden, for the most part, looked really good. He had great accuracy, and he showed off a good arm. But one of his biggest issues that I saw on tape was his receivers having to slow down on deep routes and usually wait for the ball to get there. The problem with that is I saw it on tape and then it popped up again during his pro day today when receivers were running on air with no defenders. During Jaden's pro day, his receivers down the field would have to slow down often and almost stand and wait for the ball. That does not translate well in the NFL, but other than that, he had a really good day. And then the other weird thing that popped up was this picture that Ian Rappaport tweeted out when he tweeted about Jaden Daniels' pro day. And suddenly everyone was talking about Jaden's elbow. When I first saw the picture, I thought it was altered in some way or fake. But then we had doctors tweeting about it. And apparently they say it's real, but it's not an injury or a health concern. It's more of an eyesore that looks weird and shouldn't have a negative impact on his draft status. As far as I know, it's a real picture. It just looks really weird. And then finally, I wanted to get with how these guys fit with the Chicago Bears. Like I said, I don't believe anything is 100% until it's done. I do think we're taking Caleb Williams. But just in case, I wanted to mention the guy that I think would be the fit if we didn't take Caleb Williams. And I think if we traded down to pick number two, the pick that Drake May would be the guy. He has the prototypical size the arm talent and athleticism that's going to remind most scouts of a Justin Herbert type of talent. I'm not saying he's Justin Herbert, but he should remind scouts of him. And if Poles decides to go with someone that's not Caleb Williams, I think it would be Drake May. But to me, I think Caleb is going to be the pick. And today he actually had a response for the people who were saying he was wearing lipstick and had his fingernails painted at the USC game the other day. He said his nails are clear but his phone is pink and his lips are pink, but they're naturally pink. And he said, your girl loves him. I thought it was a perfect response. And I honestly am starting to love the dude's confidence. I think we need a guy like this in Chicago. Thanks to everyone who watches. Please remember to hit that like button for me. Stay tuned. And until next time, bear down.